Welcome back, Hornet fans. Joined now by Sacramento State head coach Marshall Spurbeck. And coach, over the last few years, signing day, high school signing day has garnered a lot of attention. It's kind of become a whole monster by itself. But there's the whole forgotten period, which is the early signing period. It, it looks like it's, it's a part that you guys really put a lot of attention and focus into this year. We did. Um, we ended up signing nine guys. And um, this is the most we've ever had since I've been at Sacramento State. And it's a large number. I mean, that's almost half of our recruiting class that we brought in at the mid-year. It gives us an opportunity to get them in here, get them situated, get them practicing with us in the spring, and um, hopefully provide some more depth and some more competition as we go into next fall. A lot of these guys have experience either high-level junior college football or transfers from other Division One schools. Was it a, a group of guys you went out looking to fill specific needs, or was it just kind of guys that you thought could help the program as, as a whole? You know, we really focused in on some specific needs. I mean, with the, the transfers and the junior college guys, that's what you're trying to do. And we're just fortunate. We hit on some guys that uh, and, and hit on some needs that we really had, especially at safety, you know, with Mike Sellers, Robbie Kendall, Tyrone Duckett. I mean, that was a, a need that we had with trying to bring in some guys that could come in and play right now, some older guys. Uh, offensive linemen, you know, we got two quality guys with John Wallace and uh, Justin Ace. And, that was a big need for us as well. So we feel like we really did a good job uh, putting it all together with the, the positions that we needed. How beneficial is it to get that, that spring ball in as opposed to coming in in the summertime? It's huge. I mean, especially, I mean, to have a chance to play, you need the spring, you need the summer conditioning, you need the fall camp, and uh, these guys, plus just their bodies are two, two years older, so all that helps. As a whole, the team you know, has had a couple months off. You come back now, first week of school. What, what's the mindset going into this whole spring period, whether it's in the locker room and meetings on the field? Our guys came back hungry. The break is so long. It's about a six-week break, and I think they're bored. They're, you know, they're excited to get back in and, and lift and run and get, get with each other and start meeting with their coaches. And um, you know, We have about two months now before we'll get out and, and hit spring practice, so it's a good opportunity for us to come together as a team, start – uh, really developing in our lifting here and our, in our uh, agility and speed work out on the field and uh, just get re kind of energized as a football team. And then lastly, as a staff, you guys obviously are still working through the high school signing period. How's that whole process going here in the last and We feel like we're, um, we're maxed out. We just got to hold on to these guys, you know, the last, uh, the last bit here. And if we can hold on to the guys we have committed, uh, I feel like we'll have a really good class.